All right, so before I get into the video, I want to go over the winners of the Decade Voice. So go ahead, look on the screen. Thank you so much for participating. Um, and also make sure to email me using the email that's in my About tab so we can get into contact and I can send you the deck. Um, anyways, guys, here is the video. So to start it off, um, let's say we take this deck of cards and you could have the spectator pick a card from the middle. So it can be a random card. Let's say this one right here. It does not matter which one it is. And I'm going to show you guys. I'm not going to look at it here. So let's go ahead. I'll tilt the card a little bit. Hopefully you guys got a glimpse of that. Your card goes in the middle and then mix it up a little bit like this. And the whole thing is that your card is somewhere in the middle of the deck. And as you can see as well, all the cards are face down. But when I flip the deck over and snap my fingers, your card should now reveal itself to us. It should be, as you can see, there's only one card that's face down in the deck, and I flip it over and show you guys. This card happens to be your card, the five of spades. So this is a trick. If you want to do it, don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. All right, so the good part about this trick is that it is not necessarily too difficult. Um, the only reason I really wanted to make this is because the other day I was given this deck of cards, and it happened to come with a double factor and I wanted to make a quick video. So essentially this is kind of you know something basic you could do with a double backed card. So in this case, um, to start off the trick, uh, well, you know, you could make the double backed card, I'll just go over this real quick, um, by taking two jokers of the deck and just you're basically just gluing them or taping them together, however you can do this. But anyways, you take the double backed card, you put this on top of the deck, and to the spectators, this isn't gonna look any different. Um, than an ordinary deck. So you could have the spectators go ahead and pick out a card from the middle, it doesn't matter which one it is, and you can show it to them. In this case, let's say we have the four of spades. So from here, all you have to do is you could just put their card, uh, whatever you want to do, just make sure you can control it back to the top. So in this case, in the video, I did a double undercut where I stuck the card in the middle of the deck, pushed down inward, causing a thumb break here, and then I took my pinky of my left hand, I took half the deck, moved that to the top, and then took the rest of the cards below the break and moved that to the top. So from here, their card is gonna be on top, but the face or the double backer is going to be somewhere in the middle after you've done your uh, double undercut. So the thing you have to make care of, or be sure of is you can show the spectators the deck is, and you can kind of, as you're saying, you know, the card is lost in the middle, you can say, and you also notice that all the cards are face down. And then from here, you can lead into flipping the deck over, snapping your fingers. And then you can say, look, but when I snap my fingers, one card should reveal itself to us. And you kind of out jog it. And when you're spreading through the cards, make sure not to spread all the way to the back because the top card here is actually their card. So when you're spreading through in the performance, I only went about this far, making sure not to flash the top card. You can swivel it out. And you don't necessarily want to put this card down and then flip the deck over with two hands only because if you do that, it kind of it makes it a little more suspicious. So if you kind of more casually flip over the deck with one hand and then put their card on top, it makes it look a little bit uh, less like you're trying to hide something from. Uh, so from here, you stick the double backer on the face of or on the top of the deck. You come over, you do a double lift. So you're basically just grabbing two cards. And I will leave the link for that on the screen. So go ahead, you do a double lift. And when you flip it over, you don't have to worry about having that face-up card um, on the bottom because this is a double back card. So you can just fan it off like this, give it to the spectator. And uh, this is the trick, guys. Hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching.